Lovely air, isn't it? Beautiful, fresh air. Here, little duck duck. Here, little ducky wucky. That's it, my little dickily duck dog. I'm, I'm talking to the ducks. Yeah, you want one? Arthur, you can't give that duck a cigarette. Why not? It's made of rubber. Besides, it usually smokes a pipe. Well, I'll have one. Want one? No, I don't like them. Well, how do you know you don't like them till you've had one? I mean, they, they give you confidence. It makes you look cool. Oh, bottom. Oh. Go on. Have one, Phil. Have a fag. Have a fag. God, who was that? I don't know. What was it saying, that bit of paper? Read it. I can't. It was too close. Give it here. Oh. It's better than a magic bean, better than Smash Hits magazine, better than 30 apple pies, Dr. Ricardo's mystery prize. It's fantastic and brilliant and totally new. The mystery prize is waiting for you. Dr. Ricardo. Mystery prize. But who's this Dr. Ricardo? Dr. Ricardo. Come on, let's go and find him. Nah, I can't be bothered. He's probably just selling double glazing. Besides, we haven't got the address. Yes, we have. It's here. Ooh. I don't think we have, actually, Phil. Don't you ever do that! Ever, 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 ever again! But... Shut up! Now we're going to see Dr. Ricardo. Oh, your breath smells. <sighs> But how are we going to find out where he lives? Well, we'll look in the telephone directory. Well, where are we going to find one of them round here? They don't grow on trees, you know. Here we are. Oh. Yeah. Right, let's have a look. Rambo, Ratty Winkle. Arthur, kissing you must be like kissing an ashtray. Well, how do you know you've never kissed an ashtray? No, not a full one, no. I have. I went out with an ashtray once, picked it up in McDonald's, went out with it, quick kiss, brought it back again. Oh, belt up. Uh, Regin Bottom, Ribble Pop. Ricardo, Doctor. Ricardo, Doctor. Look, it says, follow Gorgeous. Who's Gorgeous? I am. <laughs> You're about as gorgeous as a weak old heap of elephant snot. Oh, thank you. Oh, what are we going to do? Wait a minute. I've just remembered. I did see one word of that address before you et it. Which word? Road. So all we have to do is to go off to every road in the country, and in the end, we'll find him. Right. You start looking in Bournemouth, and I'll go off to Carlisle. Bill. Obviously, we can ignore streets and avenues and crescents and Bill. Boulevard. No. Oh. I wonder what that mystery prize was. Oh, yeah, the double glazing. Where can we find Dr. Ricardo? Bill, calm down. Hey, if you want to be as calm as me, you'll need one of these. Ah! Oh, it's that gorilla again! Keep cool, Arthur. <sighs> hey, I've just realised. It's like Roland Rat, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck. Don't you see? No. Gorgeous the gorilla. The gorilla is gorgeous. Well, that's a matter of opinion. Follow that gorilla. Have you got a light? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> no, I mean, do you have a match? My scar and your tongue, they match. <laughs> Look, can you apply some fire to this cigarette? But of course. 
Brenda? See you, Wheezy. Keep smiling. No, better not. Not with those yellow teeth. <laughs> Where is this gorgeous, the gorilla? He went into this school here. Perhaps that's where we'll find Dr. Ricardo. Dr. Ricardo! Shut up! Oh. Come on. I must not throw Excuse tomatoes me. at the... Have you seen a gorilla? Say no to strangers. No, no, that's the wrong video. This is an anti-smoking one. Oh, right. That way. Thanks. I must not throw tomatoes at the teacher. I must not throw tomatoes... Well, at least take them out of the tin first. Well, this doesn't look right. What a horrible smell. Well, what do we expect? We're in a toilet. No, it's not the toilet. It's your smoky clothes. Oh, it's years since I've been in a school toilet. Takes me back. You know, I used to come down here with the lads for a smoke. The other kids used to look up to us. They used to call us the Tuffies. They're all dead from lung cancer now, aren't they? Yeah. Look, oh, there's a trainee Tuffy. Excuse me, mate, you got a light? I lost mine. Smoking's for wimps. Go home, Grandad. <laughs> I really need a cigarette. Oh, what happened to my lighter? You're addicted, aren't you, Arthur? You have to have one, don't you? Don't have to have one. I just happen to want one now, all right? It's not a problem. I just want to have a cigarette now, and I want a light. I want a light, you understand? I want a light! I'm all right in thinking you want a light for your cigarette. Yes! Yes! Here you are. Well, why didn't you give them to me before? You never asked me. God, oh, no! Hello, you lot. Hello. Does anybody want a cigarette? No. Go on, have one. No. Oh, come on, let's all have a fag. We don't really believe all this, do we? Go on, do you want one? No. Go on, take one. No. What's wrong with cigarettes, then? It's addictive. You waste your money, it stinks so much. They kill you, they give you lung cancer. Oh, I don't like the smell of it. Why do you think people do smoke? Because other people are doing it, they want to do it. Makes they them feel big. Makes them feel big? Do you <laughs> think people who smoke are big? No, no, no. They look stupid. They're stupid. Come on, look at me, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Don't you think I'm tough, I'm hard, no, I'm handsome? No. Oh, no. no, and a Merry Christmas to you. Go on, do you want one? No. Go on, take one. No. Do you know who Dr. Ricardo is? Dr. Ricardo! What's this? A magazine. A magazine? It must be a clue. Stop overacting, Phil. Sorry. There's just a lot of adverts. Most of them are for cigarettes. Yeah, I don't know why they bother. I'll make my own decisions. Oh, that's a clever one. I must get a packet of them. Oh, and look at that lovely gold. The same colour as the packet. I must buy a packet of them too, actually. How many cigarettes do you smoke a day? About 250. 250? Well, you smoke when you're asleep then, do you? Oh, no, no, that's another 50. So, say, 300. You'll turn into a cigarette one of these days. I hope so. I might be able to smoke myself. I'll tell you what, Phil, smoking does keep your weight down. Hmm. Seems to have kept hers down nicely. Mm, yeah. But is there a clue anywhere saying where Dr Ricardo is? Nah. There's this page with his address and a map of where he lives, but no clue. Ah -ha -ha. Look, I said stop overacting, Phil. Sorry. Oh, it's no good, Phil. We're lost. Yeah. We're never going to find out who Dr. Ricardo is. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Have a fag. Oh, no, you don't. Not this time, matey. Oh. Oh. 
Teach him. Uh. Look, Arthur. Double glazing indeed. It's Dr. Ricardo's stupid house. Buongiorno, Arturo e Felipe. Giacomo Puccini, Tocciolata, Tagliatelli, Spaghetti, Gorgonzola, Mini Metro Fermagani, Laghini, Lambasta, Mini Metro Go! Hang on a mo. This isn't Dr. Ricardo. This is my brother. What are you doing here, Richard? Well, this is an anti smoking video, and I am a doctor. Yeah, but what's all this false nose gorilla living in a box Dr. Ricardo business? Well, kids think doctors are boring, and they are a bit boring, so I thought I'd spice my bit up a bit, because I do want to come along and tell children why they shouldn't smoke. Huh, I know why they shouldn't. Apart from the fact it might kill you, everyone seems to hate you when you smoke. So why do you smoke, then? Yeah. Arthur does smoke quite a lot, actually. I've never had a cigarette, but... Be honest, just having one's not going to do him any harm, is it? Well, the trouble is, one leads to another one, leads to another one, and before you know it, you're addicted, because cigarettes are very strongly addictive. And there are a lot of people in their 20s who would love to stop smoking, but they just can't. But it's not going to affect me now, is it? Maybe when I'm 60. No, it will be beginning to harm you now. Even teenagers who smoke, their arteries may be beginning to clog with fat, and their lungs are affected so that when they exercise or play football or run in a race, they can't do as well as children who don't smoke. But surely it's my choice. It's up to me. It doesn't affect anybody else. No, you can affect other people. If you live in a house with other people who don't smoke, they can die young of lung cancer because of your smoking. And a particular problem with children and babies, your smoking can affect their lungs and chest so that they have all sorts of problems and diseases. Now, I'd like to finish with a song. Smoking is a smelly thing, smelly thing, smelly thing. Smoking is a smelly thing, and it does your lung hey. Smoking is a smelly thing, smelly thing, smelly thing. Smoking is a smelly thing, and it does your lungs in it. Lots of tar form on the bottom of the <laughs> yellow bits on your teeth is disgusting and horrible. Anyway, Dr. Ricardo, what is the mystery prize? Well, for Arthur if he does stop smoking. He could live another 10 years, he could save thousands of pounds, and people wouldn't mind being in the same room as him. That's not bad. Well, that's if he gives up, but um, I don't smoke, and I'm not going to. What's my mystery prize? Here it is. Oh, thanks. Anything else? Now, have you ever thought about double glazing? You only fit it once, and you may as well fit the best. I've got double glazing in my home, and it's really superb. It keeps you as snug as a bug in a bug.